good evening everybody as we have discussed uh, uh, structures uh, constructed uh, up to 1996 in last google meet now from to, uh, today we will start uh, over it we started in maninagar amdavad it was insulated over a tank of 5000 liter we used sandwich panel for the walls uh, thermocol was uh, just uh, wrapped on both side with uh, mesh structure uh, welded wire mesh and gi uh, chicken wire mesh normally what i am using uh, six layer of uh, chicken wire mesh so three on one side and three on one side and uh, two layer of uh, welded wire mesh that also one on each side so that way we form the entire shape of the uh, uh, water tank and then we applied the mortar above even uh, we constructed the roof also with the same type of sandwich panel only so uh, we can control the temperature this is a yeah uh, this is a elevation uh, to given to a existing building it was uh, constructed by government housing society building so there was no attractive elevation and we just uh, uh, applied a roman look elevation about this building after 6 to 8 years after uh, completion of the construction Uh, it was just like a plastic surgery what we are doing for a human being no so uh, just changing the entire look so we uh, place a precast cement pipe as a vertical columns they were hold on a base and a column capital constructed from ferro cement on top and bottom and it was fixed with the existing balconies and uh, that way we just uh, gave the entire look like a roman uh, elevation you can see the process of the photo uh, construction we just simply nail we remove the old uh, plaster from the walls and nail the entire capitals and ferrocement meshes above the uh, front wall and uh, then it uh, mortar was applied above so that is how we change the entire this uh, elevation of the building next these are the photograph of uh, uh, some Uh, process of the entire construction work uh, next is a clubhouse building constructed for a gear farm in junagadh it was constructed in 2000 and uh, the diameter of the clubhouse building was 25 feet into it uh, circular shape and the roof above was uh, constructed from ferro cement walls were constructed from block wall and uh, one rcc wall runner was given on the top and uh, above that we press this type uh, unique type of the uh, ferro cement roof again there, there was a skylight above on the center of the roof and there was no in between support uh, like what we constructed in pavapuri same way we constructed one mud wall to support all the panels panels were precasted uh, what we did that uh, size of the panel at the end comes to 5 to 6 feet and starting point at the skylight it was uh, 300 uh, one feet so uh, we just uh, precasted 150 mm uh, bend on one panel on all periphery and in between at uh, every 3 feet also so it becomes like a structures of a roof and then we uh, after completion of the curing we place them on the mud wall and uh, wall runners uh, run, wall runners and then uh, join with them with a proper lap and uh, after joining completely we uh, just uh, uh, applied the mortar on the entire roof and completed all finishing and uh, after completion of all curing the mud wall was removed from the center this is a farm house uh, nearby junagadh 14 feet uh, 14 kilometers away from uh, uh, junagadh wanthli village is there it was for kotak family here also uh, blocks uh, work and masonry work was constructed up to lintel and above entire sloping roof is from ferro cement and uh, we provided three french window above the roof the entire roof structure was from uh, Uh, ferro cement here also we did the same thing we provided a precasted ribs above the wall structure place them properly join them with laps and uh, after completion of curing and everything we uh, 
restrict the roof mesh above it and then uh, mortar was apply, applied on the entire roof structure so that is how we constructed this uh, farmhouse you can see the process of the construction up to lintel uh, this was uh, constructed with rcc framework and block wall then above again we place uh, uh, walls in a, uh, below the roof profile and uh, above that we place this uh, ribs this is the inside view of the ribs <coughs> we placed for the roof and all ribs were precasted they were just casted on the ground you can see in the next photograph also these are inner view of the french window and uh, some canopies constructed on otta and uh, next in next uh, you can see all the ribs were casted on the ground and uh, we put a hedge mark on uh, uh, first coat so that we can uh, apply the second coat and third coat also for a proper finishing so that is how we constructed entire roof uh, partly precasted and partly cast in situ final finish on a cast in situ like that this was a dome again constructed nearby junagadh it was also 30 feet in diameter only vertical and horizontal gi pipes were there and above that uh, <coughs> cast roof was uh, restricted above uh, one entrance gate also we constructed with ferro cement now in 2000 uh, yeah in 2000 there was a massive earthquake in kachh bhuj of gujarat and uh, we had a re rehabilitation uh, work of 150 houses in uh, village uh, sumra sar jatwali uh, 20 feet by 10 feet size of the structure was uh, constructed and uh, the roof above was a like a vault shape in ferro cement so we constructed almost 150 houses like this with ferro cement roof above and uh, it was con constructed by village uh, people only we just gave them the training and uh, we supervised them and we just uh, completed the entire thing in one and one and a half year 450 uh, unit at the same time we constructed second village uh, sanosra in bhuj only there we constructed 50 houses like this uh, 20 feet by 10 feet size only of one house but uh, it was the roof was provided with uh, precasted ferro cement channels so all channels we uh, casted on ground completed entire curing created a huge curing pond for that and uh, uh, in that uh, after completion of entire curing and everything they were placed on the superstructure and uh, we provided 100 mm joint on the edges so that uh, mesh of the uh, laps uh, we just joined them on the site and then uh, completed the casting of joints so this was all uh, of sanosra village next is uh, uh, this is a inside view of the roof inside view of the roof on a bottom right photograph you can see the precasted channel were joined this was a signage board of 40 feet by 6 feet and uh, with a typical profile given by architect and uh, main uh, thing to go for a ferro cement technology was uh, existing building was uh, supposed to be provided this signage on a cantilever part so structural engineer don't want to uh, have a more self weight for a board so we we constructed it from ferro cement and uh, entire profile was uh, just uh, prepared with uh, tmt bars with fabrication and then uh, welded wire mesh and chicken wire mesh were applied on the tmt bar and it was uh, mortar was applied above uh, it was in coordinator now in this villa in amdavad 2003 we constructed entire ferro cement staircase from ground floor to first floor so the all component in stages <coughs> are from ferro <coughs> all trades individually we uh, just form the shape of trade in mesh and uh, we provided a ridge beam in a center that also was of a ferro cement and uh, it was rested on a ground and uh, it was uh, joined to the mid landing and then uh, we place all the trades above it so in that way we constructed this uh, entire staircase and uh, 
uh, you can see in the right corner photograph uh, the formation of the mesh in the shape of the trade individual trade that way we constructed entire staircase to the ground floor from the first floor in the same building we provided some chinese roof uh, chi roof with a chinese type shape even some uh, skylight also in the same chinese shape and uh, even weather shades also we constructed like that this was in uh, 2003 in amdavad only next is uh, these are under construction photograph we provided ribs below the roof to support the roof yeah next one is uh, yeah this is skylight photograph from inside uh, ceiling ceiling view right now this dome was uh, of a uh, 20 feet a uh, 25 feet diameter and it was a central uh, crown of the building it was also in amdavad semi sphere shape simply rested on the terrace uh, entire was by ferro cement tmt bar with tmt bar we have fabrication and uh, weld, welding work with tmt bar and then uh, both side of the tmt bar we applied the welded wire mesh and uh, chicken wire mesh then applied the mortar and finished the entire dome next one is this was the entrance gate for safal safal parisar of amdavad so it was a huge township uh, project and the entire gate flat gate was constructed by ferro cement and uh, it was rested on the security cabin on uh, one side and uh, caretaker room on another side this is a mass formation what we prepared for the same uh, entrance gate next one is uh, this is a dome constructed at swaminarayan dam near uh, gandhinagar amdavad uh, here also we just uh, applied in the same way pipe structure of 100 mm diameter as a vertical supports and even as a lintel also and from there we started the dome rested on a temporary mud wall in the center and then provided a skylight above so the same method was applied here also here also we go uh, for a precast partly precast and partly on cast in situ first precasted all the reeves and uh, just installed them on the site and then uh, uh, fixed roof uh, mesh above it and then uh, completed the final uh, casting of the roof so partly it was precasted partly uh, cast that is how we constructed this was a unique structure constructed in the khyati resorts near mehsana gujarat uh, that it it was for a entrance of a toilet block which was partly in basement and partly in on above the ground so they they completed this uh, toilet block and uh, after completion uh, when it was in a function functioning the, they found one trouble during monsoon it was becoming slippery while climbing down to the toilet so they used they want to cover the entire entrance steps but uh, it was constructed with a very costly granites and marble as a facade on the steps so they have to remove and totally uh, demolish the entire that stone structure so to prevent that cost we just applied uh, uh, this ferro cement roof in a next photograph you will see we just uh, cut 600 mm by 300 mm uh, size of the uh, vertical uh, uh, wall or uh, stones of, of the vertical wall and we removed the plaster also behind and then uh, fix uh, nail uh, nailing the uh, vertical uh, ferro cement uh, columns for, with uh, welded wire mesh and chicken wire mesh and simply nail them on the wall and then uh, we provided horizontal beam also as a ferro cement uh, rib and then uh, uh, fix the entire roof the shape of the steps were like a leaf uh, of a tree you know so we constructed the roof also in the same shape with a projection on of uh, 450 mm on all four side and then uh, after placing all mesh work with uh, welded wire mesh and chicken wire mesh we casted enter with mortar
so that is how we constructed so without demolishing the existing steps and stones that uh, uh, 600 by 300 mm uh, stone also we uh, removed it with grinder and refixed them on the same ferro cement structure so we didn't waste the single piece of a stone which was already applied on the staircase that is how we constructed this uh, entrance canopy it was roughly 10 feet by 10 feet in a shape in plan so that use structure was without any uh, traditional foundation coating or anything like that no straight away pasted on the existing structure this was a clubhouse building and entrance gate for tulsi angan near vallabh vidyanagar in gujarat uh, clubhouse was constructed uh, totally from ferro cement above the ground level we just provided a wall foundation in the profile shape of the clubhouse and then uh, above that uh, wall foundation we provide our rcc uh, coping or wall runner whatever you say and from that run uh, rcc member we started dowels uh, and uh, just uh, uh, achieve the formation of the entire clubhouse building in the required shape and then we applied the chicken wire mesh on the both side of the tmt bars and uh, just uh, plaster uh, applied the mortar on the both side that is how we just uh, achieve this shape of the building also we have provided a number of skylights in between and side uh, windows also on the uh, main walls also entrance gate also was fixed on the same ferro cement wall only roof structure is visible uh, how we gave on the roof and uh, same way the ex entrance gate if you will see uh, there is a negative curvature of the entrance gate in next photograph you will able to see there is a negative curvature of the entrance gate uh, the size of the gate is uh, means opening of the gate is 25 feet 25 feet and uh, at the center you can see the negative curvature now this uh, for this one this much uh, negative curvature rcc will need almost double the size than what we provided. We have provided only uh, 400 mm uh, depth of the this ribs, ferro cement ribs. But uh, in RCC, it was coming almost above 600 to 800 <laughs> depth. So architect wants a very slick look for this gate. So we just uh, applied this ferro cement and uh, we achieved a very slick look. This is a once again an entrance canopy for a Aman party plot. Uh, the shape of the this canopy, you can see it, it was totally suspended from the MS structure. There is no vertical support directly from ground. Uh, like a jalar, what we see in temple uh, above the head of the god uh, from uh, some jewelry. Same way we hang this. Uh, roof from uh, ms structure we precasted entire roof on a ground just uh, uh, in the reinforcement we fixed a uh, nine place uh, turn buckle uh, along with the mesh and then after completion of entire curing and everything manually we lift this uh, entire canopy and uh, fix it with the mesh. that is how we constructed this so that was a, a little bit different appli application of the ferro cement this uh, uh, temple structure was constructed in Amdavad and, and uh, existing temple was only of a 12 feet by 12 feet out to out size of a building for Sai Baba and the trustees decided to construct 50 feet by 25 feet size of the temple on the same place without demolishing the center building, uh, the existing temple. So we uh, just uh, converted that existing building in a garb grew and then constructed entire uh, structure of 50 feet by 25 feet in ferro cement, right above the plinth. All members were of ferro cement. So roof also was ferro cement and the vertical support structure also was ferro cement only. So that is how we constructed this. This was also a unique application of ferro cement. Uh, 
the building the, the villa was given uh, some elevation in such a way that all rain rain water collected in the terrace was just uh, falling in the very good shape and uh, it was straight away uh, the the flow was uh, uh, designed in such a way that uh, it was collected in 1 lakh liter underground water tank created for rain water harvesting so the while you see it was a very uneven shape profile so we constructed it from ferro cement only architect gave us the entire profile in 3d and we constructed it many weather sheds we have constructed in amdavad uh, you can see the structures all uh, weather sheds we uh, just pasted on the existing structure after few years of the completion of the building no simply they were nailed on the wall the mesh structure was uh, ready with uh, this uh, emt bar fabrication and everything and then it was fixed on the wall and uh, constructed you can see the mesh structure formation in the photographs in next photograph uh, some another weather sheds also are there in next photograph also some this is us, another one weather shed this is also constructed in a 20 25 years old building we uh, developed canopies and uh, weather sheds to prevent uh, rain water entering this also was uh, constructed in my own house uh, this window was <laughs> inside our dining hall dining hall and uh, rain water was coming directly inside so we just removed the plaster and nailed the entire mesh and tmd bar with uh, brick walls directly and after that we applied mortar above mesh one that is how we constructed this this was only an experiment it was done in 1994 first time i constructed a weather shed with it yeah this was a fountain structure in landscape in amdavad only 2006 and uh, entire fountain above the ground it, it is from ferro cement yeah like a basin no now this was uh, elevation canopies given on a high rise building and uh, it was a township near gandhinagar and amdavad swagat rain forest rain forest was the name of that township and so many buildings were there and different type of canopies they design and uh, they they need some thickness of 120 mm and above so we uh, here also we use uh, thermocol in between to achieve the more thickness and uh, both side of the thermocol we have uh, uh, place uh, welded wire mesh and uh, wire mesh on both side and then we form the shape you can see the different type of the shapes r shape uh, profile shape and like that it was in all buildings now this was a farm house project near amdavad balaji one and the entire drawing room of the villa was uh, in a segment of a cone shape and that particular entire shape was developed by ferro cement all windows and the weather shed of the windows also <coughs> from ferro cement only here also we had a tmt bar welded on the place to achieve the shape and on both side there was a mesh applied and then mortar was applied that is how we constructed this uh, segment of the drawing room now uh, this was a kembe hotel uh, and uh, it is near jivraj park of amdavad and the title of the hotel in the center of the building you can see above the entire glass facade so at the top of glass facade there was a title of the hotel and it was almost 5 feet away from the main structure so it was on a cantilever part so uh, just to uh, save the cost we constructed the 20 feet by 20 feet panel of kembe hotel title panel no from ferro cement so the self weight was reduced with uh, using a uh, ferro cement technology and uh, then uh, uh, completion of the entire yeah uh, this uh, right side photograph you can see 
the entire 20 feet by 20 feet uh, wall panel it was it is on a 5 feet uh, away from the main building so to reduce the rcc cost we just uh, applied ferro cement technology and above that they uh, just uh, fixed their signage of the hotel cambay even in the same hotel we have developed compound wall also uh, with help of ferro cement all this arch shape uh, visible above the compound wall they are they are from ferro cement so here also they need some thickness of uh, all these uh, segments so 120 25 mm thickness so here also we use thermocol in between you can see in this photograph thermocol in the center then uh, reinforcement was welded because of our typical shape we use tmt bar reinforcement also to achieve the shape and then mesh was applied on the both side of the reinforcement and thermocol and then uh, mortar was applied above and the entire segment was just uh, installed and above the columns of the compound wall that is how the entire compound wall was constructed with these ferro cement segments this was church uh, domes for church in malad of mumbai maharashtra it was constructed in 2007 three domes we constructed over there and uh, all three domes are from ferro cement it's a typical shape of the dome you can see and uh, then the cross was just uh, anchored on the top of the dome that is how uh, we just uh, rested the ferro cement domes this was a sarva dharma mandir in amdavad the uh, garb group temple was constructed in a shivling shape and then uh, sheshnag uh, above the shivling so the sheshnag and uh, that uh, roof of the garb group was constructed with ferro cement totally it is in amdavad only this one is a uh, uh, bird feeding and bird nest whatever uh, chabutra we call in gujarat chabutra it was constructed in manthan uh, institute for girls uh, educational institute for girls near amdavad hajipur village so the entire chabutra structure was from ferro cement roof and that bottom also where we can put the uh, feeding and uh, water this was also like a uh, some uh, gazebo structure in the center of the school building no so that entire gazebo with vertical support and roof was with ferro cement this was totally cast in situ uh, there is no precast work this structure was a, uh, as a entrance gate of a farmhouse project it is like a elephant elephant it but the size of the <laughs> gate is at the base as a width and 40 feet as a height of the teeth and uh, both uh, bottom of the both teeth there is a security room inside and the entire teeth is hollow totally uh, from the ferro cement only we just uh, form this shape on the ground uh, in TMT bar and uh, welded wire mesh and chicken wire mesh. After formation of the entire shape in uh, reinforcement, just we lifted them with uh, this uh, crane and uh, just installed them on the footings we con uh, constructed on the ground to hold them. And after fixing them on the footings, uh, we applied the mortar in this shape. This was a elevation treatment only. Uh, just we covered one uh, overhead water tank on the very front facade of the shopping mall in Amdavad. So uh, <coughs> constructed ferro cement structure in such a way that the entire uh, overhead tank was inside the uh, this element. We are seeing your journey from 1988 to 2008. Yeah, there almost. Is a lot of, of improvements yeah, you have done yeah. yourself. And uh, yeah. that finishing has improved and thickness and everything you have you have yeah. done so, so many things and you have also done precasting later on. Yeah, uh, part uh, most of the structure component part, part, we part, used to part, precast part. on ground. Yeah. yeah, and then they were placed on the uh, required shape and uh, required shape. placed right. on the right. side. 
Right. So and then they were joined properly to achieve the shape, and then we were gi giving the final uh, mortar application on the components, and then we achieved the shape. That is how we constructed many many structures right from the Pavaburi. I have done almost on the same method only, partly precast. Uh, means all structural component we were small small component we used to uh, prepare them on the ground, so it it becomes very easy to work and we can work very fast also then the, just simply uh, erect them on the place as uh, per requirement then give the final finishing what is the final and, thickness of that precast element what yeah so initially if if you see the structure of uh, pavapuri and uh, even vanthali you can see it was uh, crossing even uh, sometimes 75 mm 80 mm also because first casting was uh, of uh, almost 30, 35 mm on ground. And then uh, uh, after placing both sides, if I'm applying even 10 mm, 10 mm, then also it was crossing 60 mm, 70 mm. Sometimes it becomes 80 mm also. So that thickness was uh, there initially. But uh, in last structures, if you will see, it was very sleek. So. As soon as I, I was just uh, improving my uh, yeah. team skill properly, no, it was reducing like that. Yeah, that is a, that is team spirit is required and team is also required to be trained in this case. Yeah, uh, fortunately, what has happened no? in 1996 that resort structure uh, that of agricultural resort when I constructed it was a huge project. So there I trained lots of people over there uh, nearby villages, no. So they they were working right from 1996 to till date. So they are well trained. So uh, uh, after that time, no, as soon as they were going ahead, their workmanship was improved a lot. Uh, one or two projects I faced that thing also uh, in SR steel of Gujarat. 70 feet by 70 feet uh, dome structure was constructed. I, unfortunately, I don't have the photograph of that building, but that building is still there. It was in a school building. They asked me uh, before starting the project that uh, uh, we want to construct this entire canopy above the uh, opening of the school building. The building was existing over there. 70 feet by 70 feet uh, size was of the, that opening, and they want to cover it with ferro cement. And uh, soil bearing capacity of that uh, particular uh, land, uh, area was very, very less. So they designed it with RCC and the size of the columns and beams and everything was increasing <coughs> just like nothing. So they were just... Yeah, that's true. Yeah. No, I don't have any ferro cement designer. On thumb rule basis only, I constructed. And in SR steel, they what they ask that uh, uh, they will prepare an MS structure for that uh, 70 feet by 70 feet area. They will rest it on the RCC column. And above that, one meter by one meter precast panels, I was supposed to provide them. So what they ask that uh, that panel of one meter by one meter should take load of minimum uh, 500, uh, 300, three, three and, uh, 350 kg per meter square. That is what they ask, asked me. So I told that I have never measured it. So what we did, we, we constructed some sample of one meter by one meter with the typical reinforcement of a welded wire mesh, TMT bar and chicken wire mesh with mortar. And then uh, we uh, we placed it on in front of their building, and uh, after completion of the entire curing and everything, which uh, simply supported on the ground, and uh, we put a ten cement bag above it. It was there was not even a hair crack in the uh, panel, so it was taking more than five hundred kg per meter square. So they were satisfied with that, and we constructed that roof building. It is it is there in essence. Yeah, uh, can I ask some question? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Yes. Uh, actually, as you say, it's a it's, it's a very good uh, word, uh, so undoubtedly. But 
uh, if you don't follow any uh, design uh, methodology or if you uh, don't uh, use any finite element uh, software uh, for analysis, yes. then how you determine uh, the uh, thickness and uh, the reinforcement layer and, uh, and everything. So, because uh, you have done a uh, lot of structure with uh, different uh, span, shape, uh, size. So, if it is uh, true to maybe dome or geometrical shape having uh, no tensile strength, then only if it is only the compressive uh, force, then maybe just you can assume some thickness and uh, you, you can even manually calculate uh, the stresses. But if it is uh, the, uh, you see, organic shape, what we call organic shape, then how you actually uh, fit the thickness of the uh, cement wall? What, 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 what uh, actually you, you don't go for uh, exact analysis, but you follow some uh, thumb rule. What is that uh, thumb rule? How you, how you actually fix the thickness and uh, fix uh, the, uh, you see the gaze of wire mesh and uh, others? Yes, sir. So you are absolutely right that uh, we must have to design it. But uh, unfortunately, at that time, when I started, no, uh, there was no, uh, that that type of analysis work was done as what you people have done today. So my father and me, when we started in 88, so we just uh, observed that uh, the first uh, roof, five feet by five feet panel we provided, there was no sagging, but it was a folded structure. So uh, my father was also very experienced civil engineer at that time. And uh, he told that uh, this was a folded uh, roof structure. That is why five feet by five feet structure was supported properly. And uh, during casting, some mass was sagging like this, no? So I explained him my problem that the mesh is after applying mortar, it was sagging like this, no? So I, I, I have to provide a temporary structure below that mesh. Is. So uh, that problem, when I explained to my father, then he told me that we should have to reduce the distance between ribs if it is a flat structure. So by just uh, experiments only, we came to a conclusion that more than three feet, if the flat part is there, we have to provide the ribs in between. And the depth of the rib, uh, normally we used to take 300 mm maximum. Sometimes if uh, size is not permitted, then 200 mm to 300 mm. Means, art is, uh, means uh, from eight inch to nine inch, we, we used to take the size of the rib. And the thickness and reinforcement, we have never changed. Six layer of environment mesh, two layer of... Uh, but what about, uh, what about, Sonia, what about the gate? Uh, because the, it's, uh, uh, geometrically, it's very close to the, uh, you see, flat, uh, 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 if, if you just you can uh, think the uh, beautiful uh, gate with a very uh, thin, uh, you see, uh, shell. So uh, how you have actually uh, estimated the thickness and the reinforcement for that gate? Gates. Which gate, sir? Which gate? Uh, Which one? one uh, just uh, more or less flat. In ah, shape. Negative uh, curvature, no? Negative curvature. Yeah, 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 yeah negative curvature. Yeah, Tulsi yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, so, so, how you determine the thickness of that uh, flat? So, the depth of the rib was 400 mm. 400? Right? 400 mm. And the shape was like this negative curvature on, at the center normally this curvature can stand very easily even in ferro cement without any supporting structure but this was a negative curvature so we had 400 mm uh, rib size 
and uh, also uh, the width of the that entire profile was almost eight feet. No, so we provided total five ribs in eight. Okay. Feet okay. Of four hundred, and even uh, horizontally also we provided ribs above. And then uh, oh. we provided uh, top roof also so that no rainwater will be accumulated in uh, in uh, between the ribs. Okay. So it was yeah. a box. Yeah. Okay, then you apply yeah. mortar only from one side, and uh, the uh, uh, inside yeah. there is no uh, prop, there is no support. Yeah, yeah, or, no, but uh, all that inner uh, surface is no. Uh, yeah. Before uh, fixing the top roof, no, we applied entire inner surfaces. We finish and applied entire mortar work on the all uh, ferro cement part, and then. Uh, just to create the top uh, profile, no. First, we uh, tied uh, empty gunny bags, <coughs> gunny bags on that same profile, so it becomes a shuttering for us. Empty gunny okay. bags, and fixing it properly on the reinforcement, no, on both all four sides, and then we place our uh, meshwork above that, and then we applied the uh, mortar above for the top profile also so it was nicely plastered on the both side of, of the top profile also because gunny bag was below the uh, that profile as a shuttering as a shuttering okay so entire thing was plastered right even from inside also like that right so no doubt i don't have that uh, analysis but normally as as uh, we started and uh, as soon as we just uh, traveling ahead and ahead, we found the uh, yeah. this observation. Next thing is that we keep that repeat right. About that, we have to provide the reach on both ways. If curvature is there, if any of my structure is there, so they are in curvature shape only. That is why they are nicely constructed. Yeah, uh, yeah. 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 I have one question. Yes, sir. Yes, go ahead. Sony, sir. Very yes. thank you. You are a great person. No, no. Doing this lots more many work. Just I have a one to two questions. One question is, yes, what about the leakage of the total uh, structure you have made in last uh, 2022 20, years? This is one question. Second question is, second question is, you are now just uh, say uh, you are using a gunny bag as a shattering purpose for a depth of 400 mm uh, slab so how it fixing uh, uh, their gunny bag from the bottom uh, as a, like a shattering is a second question and third question is how many layers you are using chicken mesh how many and weld mesh how many for one side uh, I, I have three questions uh, uh, regarding your work so will you explain yeah hmm. yeah definitely so the first one is re regarding leakage so leakage only uh, starts when the crack formation is there no hmm. so using six layer no normally there is no cracks and some cracks if there are developed we have al always applied a nominal coating of water wing chemical water wing no hmm. like uh, somewhere we have applied a uh, uh, this uh, coal tar, hot bitumen above it, mm. ah. as a water in ah. some place we have used some uh, chemical, uh, chemicals, water thing compound, ah. so we applied the coating of that chemical, so it becomes very tight surface, there is no problem, even in what? Congo also we have you know, constructed one huge canopy, I will uh, present it in my next session, so, that canopy also it was uh, applied with uh, this uh, bitumen sheet, hot bitumen sheet fixed on that canopy. So no chance of any leakage from that. So that is the first thing. Normally what uh, water thing we are applying to RCC work, no? We have mm. to do the same thing for ferrocement also because ferrocement yeah. is a basic structural component. But mm. again you have to provide all preservative uh, actions what we are normally doing to RCC also. Mm. What yeah, about no what about, no about what about gunny bag fixing as a shattering purpose? Yeah, 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 yeah. That is a very good point. See, uh, the lap mesh coming out of the bottom structure. No, we hmm. normally use 100 
50 mm whatever the requirement size so hmm. that uh, reinforcement also is standing in that uh, bottom structure so hmm. along with that we will tie the gun we will first uh, normally open the gun case gun hmm. is uh, normally uh, sewed with uh, two layers so we will hmm. open it and we will tie every 100 100 uh, 75 100 mm with that exist, uh, the structure below reinforcement of the structure below no hmm. with binding wires hmm. and they will we pull it and we will put it in in such a way that hmm. uh, it, it will be able to hold the, the load of the mortar hmm. hmm. and then after first put the gunnibex inside properly hmm. Hmm. Uh, it will act as a straight uh, hmm. and then we will apply the mortar so it will hold the mortar till the set, initial setting time Hmm. Once it is set properly, there is no need of any uh, support from below also. Hmm. So that is how we normally used to put the gunny bags on the hollow part, which are not accessible from inside. Hmm. Right? I have done in so many places. Even here, uh, false column I have constructed in Africa also. So huh. inside the column, we, we are not able to enter. So first we will form the shape of the column by reinforcement. Then hmm. we will fix the gunny bag inside first. Hmm. 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 Then we will start the applying mortar. So it ah, will ah. rest properly. So, so what's about the layer? Well mesh layer and chicken mesh layer? <clears throat> yeah, uh, normally almost 90% of my structures we have used six layer of chicken mesh. If Both sandwich sides. panel is there, if uh, this uh, thermocol is in between, then three layer on one side, three layer on second side, two layer of welded wire mesh. Uh, again, if sandwich panel is there, one layer on this side, one layer on other side. And uh, TMT bar, if I have used as a structure to uh, form the shape, then TMT bar at every 300 mm center to center, that is also never more than 8 mm. 8 mm diameter with TMT bar only, they will weld it, uh, they will just weld and uh, they will get and form the shape of the structure, whatever profile we want. At but, 200 mm, center to center. Not, but why not, why, not why are you using why are you using a three layer chicken mesh? What is the purpose of using? Why three uh, layers? Why my, not yeah, two layers? Yeah, that is that is a very good no actually in starting only last session only uh, Divakar sir also uh, has discussed this thing, no? Actually, hmm. what has happened, uh, in uh, Rurki, where I uh, got the training, normally only total three layer was advised. Hmm. advised. But hmm. the mesh we were using in three layer was 22 gauge. 22 hmm. gauge and with size of the mesh as a 12 mm, center hmm. to center. Hmm. So that particular mesh, at that time also was not easily available in the market. Hmm. We have to hmm. order it. We will get the delivery after one, one and a half month. And the hmm. cost of that mess was very, very high. Correct. So to reduce the cost, we uh, tried, uh, we started to use the locally available mesh, no? Hmm. Which is 28 to 30 days and with size of the mesh of 25 to 30 mm. Correct. Huh. So what was happening? Uh, what uh, uh, my father told that the section, cross section of the re overall reinforcement of three layer of 22 gauge should not be reduced. So to match the same cross section, he, uh, he suggested six layer. Actually, hmm. five layers were coming, but one layer he told that you use extra. Please ask your yes, question. My question is, uh, the mesh or reinforcing or chicken wire coming from either the plate or the rib, how is that embedded in the next element to join the elements together so that you don't get uh, shear uh, deflection? Yeah, so normally, uh, to each segment, separate segment, which are supposed to join on the, uh, at the site. To <coughs> the core. We provide minimum 100 mm lap length of the mesh of the 
that segment, no? So if the segment size is say one meter by one meter, we will uh, <coughs> mass for minimum uh, 1200 mm by 1200 mm, no? So 100 mm side mesh will be all on four side, extra. So, so when you, the don't, mesh, you don't precast up to the edge of the mesh, you precast and exactly, leave the mesh short. Exactly. Okay. When, when we are casting that them on this ground, no, we will leave that 100 mm part on all four sides. No? We will not apply mortar on that part. We will apply mortar in only one meter by one meter for the exact size <laughs> after finishing, no? Like that. Then we will join them at the site and we will tie all the laps of adjoining. Uh, what we will do, when we will place the segments together at the site, no? We will join that all laps together in a proper way. We will uh, apply the binding wires and everything at the proper way and then we will apply the second layer of the mortar no? like that that is how we join the structure uh, segments to the structure like thank you sir my comment about this is it is totally brilliant because you have uh, reduced the amount of weight that the matrix has to carry by precasting elements on the ground uh, that is brilliant and that has allowed you the great flexibility in the shapes and applications that you have uh, created. Uh, marvelous. Congratulations. Uh, Mr. Owen, do you want to ask something? Yeah. Hi, Diane. Hi, Angus. Hello. Hi, everyone. Um, I have a question about the first structure that you showed. It was, I think it was called the Gir Farm. Ha, Gir Farm, yeah. Yeah, yeah Gir Farm. In 2000. Um, that's very similar to something I hope to construct, hopefully, with you, Diane, <laughs> somewhere. The yeah, oasis. I, I, it will be a pleasure for me. <laughs> the oasis um, is the same diameter, and I think it would be a good pro prototype to be used as a community center or something. Um, so what was the cost of that in the area you work? If you could recall, it's in year 2000. It's pretty far away. Yeah, very far. Almost 20, 21 years before. Yeah. Yeah. Just roughly, just wondering. I think uh, normally what uh, I have observed right from the beginning, no, the normal uh, cost of the RCC structure of the same shape, it will be almost 2.5 to 3 times then what we are achieving the cost in ferro cement right from the 88 i have observed that uh, the cost is reduced a lot comparatively to the normal rcc structure in the same shape yeah the self weight reduces almost 20 uh, up to 25 percent means uh, whatever the uh, cost of uh, uh, sorry whatever the self load of the rcc structure the self load will reduce almost to the 25 percent so it will be only a 25% of the total RCC structure, no? Yeah. So that's yeah, the benefit of the self-weight. I understand <laughs> the relationship of ferro-cement to conventional, <laughs> but yeah. you you work with ferro-cement so much. Do you have a square foot idea or what it costs? I'm just wondering because I might finance it. I don't know. Yeah. No, no. I might uh, do the same thing. It, By the way, if anyone wants to work with me, I hope Lele, we talked about it once, Lele. Uh, okay. in India uh, to construct a prototypical oasis. I call it the oasis, the surround building that I designed. Um, yeah, yeah, I have, I have seen that uh, uh, design of that oasis building. It yeah. is a like, circular type of shape. Yeah, yeah, I could, I have it right here, but I don't, I don't want to interrupt your presentation. Um, <laughs> so a cost would be helpful. In, in also through the Ferro Cement Society in India, and perhaps with you, Diane. Jadha, anyone that would care to uh, work on something like that with me, like a, a collaborative, that, like that. So whatever constru uh, structure we want to construct, if we can uh, just prepare the exact estimate about 
for that structure no like uh, in 2000 when i constructed this building no yeah the cost of per square feet of the, of the <laughs> segment was almost uh, near about 200 rupees per square feet 200 if, rupees square foot uh, so, so it okay. was less than that 184 or 181 if i am not missing it also also yeah. i have a material list yeah. like in other words total material list for that structure of that diameter or that yeah. or that dimension so yeah. it would be easy to figure out the material anyway Definitely, anyway because we can you know, we can prepare the estimate no even as yeah. of today with our cost as on today no i'd like yeah. to see one up i don't know if i could do it the way the circumstance around my world i don't know uh, but I have all the templates and I have all the drawings and I have uh, myself. I would go there where to India, say, or yeah. where, what do you, Congo, Republic of Congo? Yeah. Um, Mr. If Savi necessary. Has come. Mr. Savi has come and he had some questions. Okay. Mr. Savi, are you there? Are you hearing? Yes. Uh, Mr. Sony, very beautiful structures. Uh, uh, but I, I have no questions because I, I, I work with uh, a domes of uh, ferro cement and all is domes and uh, by by for uh, waste water treatment plants and so. Uh, are different use of ferro cement, but I, I like very, very, very beautiful structures, Mr. Son. Thank you. Oh. Thank you. Thank you very Thank much. You. Dr. Divekar, sir, yes, you want to add something? Hello. Hello, sir. Hello. Uh, Udayan, yes, sir. sir. Congratulations yes. for so many structures that have built. Majority Thank of them are much, compression sir. members like domes or walls or walls all of them are compression members oh, when you go in yes, for pleasure member like uh, chajja lintel and all that you will have to yes. consider it in different fashion secondly exactly, you have done you have done precasting of ribs and jointed them at site now we are having exactly. our convention our convention on precast concrete in november why don't you give a paper of precast element jointed together because in case in that case you assume that the ribs they have on tape, the open ends were yep. kept with the meshes and they are overlapped and tied together. I don't know whether you have added the bars also inside. Then uh, yes. it seems that that was the system of jointing that you have adopted. <coughs> In that case, you have, used, you have used the precast element as the base for ferro cement. At top and bottom, yes. you have covered it with uh, three layers of ferro cement for water tightness and all that. So main Except part is precast ferro cement element. So why don't you give a paper for our conference? Uh, next, 2021. This November. Yes, November. November. <laughs> next. Precast, precast, <laughs> and I'm 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 request Savi also, Doctor Savi also, that he has done so much precasting. He has done so yes, much precasting for the water treatment plants. In, okay. in his country. Why don't you give us a paper on whatever work he has done his precasting? Uh, he can he, he send his papers and uh, we will definitely uh, very much pleased to have his papers. Definitely, sir. Uh, uh, but uh, November means uh, today, yes, August yes, November. Three, three, yeah, it is. three, four months. Three months. Three, three months are there. Three months are there. Yeah, you can. We can prepare, prepare, prepare. If, if you will you help, uh, help me, sir, to prepare the. I will, I will not difficult at all. You can construct a complete water treatment plant with ferro cement. So what is the difficult in reporting whatever we have done? Just uh, take out few files, and you will be getting all the photographs and all the details how we have constructed it, and just present it for our uh, convention. Okay. I request you, please. Definitely, sir. I will try my level best. Uh, I will just. Uh, collect all that data. Even uh, many of structure I am having AutoCAD drawings also. So uh, we will just uh, prepare uh, details like that. And uh, if anywhere uh, some guidance are needed, please help me for that, sir. Then uh, we will prepare it, definitely, sir. You can do sure. it. Sure. 
and mr savio you can also share it with your experiences it will be helpful for others they can definitely sir your help they can progress with yeah. your help and mr it will be my so many things yeah, yeah. it the will be my pleasure definitely the sharing definitely. is important the sharing is important okay so i think I will... uh, we can conclude it today and uh, sure sir you have done a very good presentation you have you are progressing the uh, precasting also initially you are not doing precasting i know you are you are doing precasting also yeah is, so partly precast and partly yeah, part precast not with the factory uh, um, mr murudkar is here he has got uh, his factory own factory of precasting yeah but you are doing yeah. it on site that is more important because in the villages in india they need ferro cement work and if it is precasted on site that is very useful for them so i think yes. uh, if mr jado has some questions uh, please ask in short and uh, we will conclude mr jado please yes you have some ha, hello hello so yes. sony sir i yes, have uh, last question <laughs> okay uh, three layer chicken mesh uh, one layer well mesh one side how is uh, your uh, yes. increase or decrease matlab uh, means uh, uh, what level you are quoting uh, 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 to customer uh, what level uh, what what I, I level, miss that word what level uh, what level means uh, how much you are quoting to client due to, to you using up uh, three layer chicken mesh one layer welded mesh yes. for a single panel yes. oh, so, so yes yeah uh, uh, actual cost of the mesh only no normally hmm. uh, we have to add the lap length area also in the hmm. surface area so what hmm. i was doing that suppose 1 meter by 1 meter size of the structure is there so we have to add the 100 mm all four side also for lap it will hmm. be straight away double huh? so uh, what i was doing that uh, normally uh, area of the entire structure we used to uh, calculate for all components individually and then uh, i was putting uh, lap length straight away in the hmm. bill of quantities also additionally and the <laughs> cost of that uh, structure actual area with lap we will uh, prepare it for mesh structure no and then hmm. uh, mortar will be the single only so that's that is how we normally used to uh, raise the bill of quantities to the client no and uh, hmm. normally i have done totally cost plus percentage based only uh, in that time no? because it, it, it was totally unknown technology so nobody ah, were ah. giving me straight away contract at that time no and i hmm. also not uh, i was also not preparing to take straight away outright contract it was better to take a percentage and uh, consultation that is better no that ah, is how ah. we construct it that is always better and you have convinced your clients that it is right and your integrity they, they believed your integrity on your integrity and uh, that is fine thing it is very good thing now uh, we will conclude the this two days uh, ferro talk 16 uh, thank you leli sir and uh, angekar sir all the participants now we will conclude the meeting particularly the director sir <laughs>